<laughs> so you've got the tube up here, buried, and it comes down to about here. Well, it, no, it goes completely all the way down. You can actually see it from here. Oh, yeah. But then you built this stone. Yeah. It's quite rigid, actually. Mm -hmm. Bridge, so stuff isn't touching the wood. Yeah. And you set your. You have a grill. Yeah. This is completely leveled as well. Which I, is, is why I prefer campfires at this point because it's. It's so easy to just put some more dirt underneath and then you can like level it more if you want. It's, when you apply pressure it's, it's really not that tippy. Wow. And like there's lots of space for sticks there as well. And so you lay your sticks in, or you can go crossways if you want. Oh yeah. And you lay a level to floor begin, of to sticks. To begin with I lay, I lay like thicker main sticks. like. To carry the smaller sticks on top. Mm -hmm. Eventually, they're going to fall down, but but that's been working really well. Even if they fall down, like then I just put the sticks diagonally downwards, and yeah. And so you're getting an airflow through here that just creates a massive airflow. Like really? You, you can hear the tube. Really? If I light it up, you could hear the sound it makes. You're just a whooshing of air coming. Yeah. Wow. And it's, it's not volatile. It's it's like. I think the flames are like really soft and gentle, actually. But the amount of air is really good. <laughs> wow. So variation of the Dakota fire pit, but you've really made it your own. Yeah, and maybe like I have space over here for a secondary fire if I want. I don't need a tube for that. And these rocks, you can, you can. Well, There's it's probably most most of the sun now. Oh no, they're still warm. They're I can still feel warm. that. Yeah. I've been heating them for a while now and I imagine like tonight I'm gonna like put them in, in my sleeping bag. Really? Okay. Not that I need to at this point but just for extra comfort. Just to get that hot to rock see. experience. I'm, ex I'm excited to see like how long they will last throughout the night. And just to understand this more, so you put thicker ones, you're kind of building an upside down fire, so you make a yeah. base of wood. Kind of like that just with a longer stick though and then you build your fire on top of that yeah and usually eventually I feel the small sticks from this side um, eventually this is gonna fall down yeah but it's it's actually an upside down fire so well lots of air is able to come through underneath the flames and go upwards when they fall down though this is probably the only negative thing about this but I'm not sure if you can avoid it with any Dakota fire pit if they fall down, flames tend to like come upwards diagonally, mostly and come up here instead of here. Oh, the place your heating yeah, area if changes. If I lose my base and I have to put them down in the fire pit, then you're getting that much airflow. It's really yeah, <laughs> sweet. But that's really good to just sit here because the heat is kind of coming towards me as well instead of just up. Blaster. Yeah. yeah.